Hey guys, today we're going to show you how you can make the sound of the System Center Spectre Alert Classic Horn in an audio editing software app. So we'll get started by getting to a file that we want. So in this case, I'm going to do a pulse code modulation file. Do it at 48 kilohertz sample rate insert it and then we're going to delete the silence gaps and then we're going to do the tone generator we're going to do enter the frequency first one of 3.1 kilohertz with a 100 percent amplitude then time value is going to be 0.5 seconds okay so we got that and now we're going to do another track. This time it's going to be 3180 hertz. And then for that, another track. But this time it's going to be 3020 hertz. Alright, 3020 hertz. Okay. All of the motors are the same. So enter that. And now we're just going to have to normalize this down to negative 12 decibels below the zero decibel normalization level. So we're going to be doing that for the two that we put in. So which were, this one was the 3180 hertz track and this one was the 3020 hertz track. So Alright, then after that, we're going to combine it and normalize it to zero so we don't see the clipping right in there. And then we get this, so now we can remove all of this. And then now we're going to make a duplicate of this audio track. So, first one is going to be the regular temporal three cycles of the Spectre Alert Classic sound. So now after that, we're going to, we're gonna press this one right here. It's like press that and then I'm gonna insert 500 milliseconds, copy that, paste it two more times, then add a thousand milliseconds right in there. Now we got the temporal three pattern of the Spectre Alert Classic. So then we can just like put in as many as we want. Okay, so we can just like put many as we want. But however, with that start starting one, so after I put any of them as I want, so now this is the starting one, like this one right there. Like that's, we're gonna be doing like the simulating uh, effect of when like, when it starts up, it like does one beep and then the temporal three beeps go. So yeah, let's just line it up, see if we're there, nope. So I'm gonna add another 500 milliseconds in there. All right. 500 milliseconds are added. All right, so that's in there. So now what we can do is we can like take the uh, take the pattern that we're making and paste it in. Now we can move this all the way up to here. And we are done. We now have the pattern of the sounds that we made of the Spectre Alert Classics. So now we can now go ahead and play this.